This brief video will discuss marine velvet disease and suitable treatment options. The life cycle of velvet is very similar to marine ick, just accelerated. It is typically completed in four days on average, and the attacking free swimmers are more numerous than ick. This constant bombardment of overwhelming free swimmers is why some fish that can manage ick will succumb to velvet. A fish infected with velvet will have trophons feeding on it. These drop off, find a hard surface to insist upon, and then the reproductive or tomont phase begins. Each tomont can release up to 256 dinospores or free swimmers, which seek out fish to infect. As mentioned previously, reinfection can occur in four days, which does not allow much time for a fish to heal from a previous infestation. This never-ending cycle is why many fish cannot manage velvet parasites in a closed environment, and we strongly urge you to take action as soon as you notice velvet on a fish. Here are some fish with marine velvet disease. Notice how they are completely covered with white specks, giving a powdery or velvety appearance. This is different from marine ick, where the white dots are more clearly defined and usually not so numerous. Please also note that on the lightly colored long-nosed butterfly fish at the bottom left, the white specks are easier to see on the fish's fins than on the body itself. The hippo tang on the left has ick, the one on the right has velvet. Notice how the white dots are smaller and more numerous with velvet. A good rule of thumb is this, if you can count the white dots on a fish, then it's usually ick. However, if they are too numerous for you to count, then there's a good chance that you are dealing with velvet. Another symptom of velvet to look for is cloudy eye. This does not usually happen when a fish is infected with ick. When in doubt, it is wise to just assume that the fish has velvet and use one of the treatment options which will be discussed shortly, as these work on both ick and velvet. If you have a microscope, you can take skin scrapes or gill clippings of the affected areas to confirm marine velvet disease. Because of the virulence of marine velvet disease, oftentimes an infected fish needs temporary relief before entering quarantine. This can be accomplished by one of the following, in order of preference. 30-minute hydrogen peroxide bath, 45-minute formalin bath, 90-minute bath using Ruby Reef Rally, or a 5-minute freshwater dip. Detailed instructions for each of these can be found on our website and forum. After temporary relief is given, Fish needs to be placed in a quarantine tank where one of the following treatment options can be performed. Copper or chloroquine phosphate treatment for 30 days, or two weeks will suffice if you can move the fish to a separate observation tank which is at least 10 feet away. Alternatively, hybrid or velvet tank transfer method. There is more information about both found on our website and forum. Keep in mind that all of these treatments work on both velvet and ick, so you'll be covered either way if you're unsure of a diagnosis. Thank you for watching this video. See links in the comment section for more detailed information, and join us on our humble.fish forum for all reef aquarium related discussions.